What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Husqvarna chainsaw and the problem is that it runs but it's leaking fuel from the top of the engine. So before this chainsaw catches fire, let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video, we try and repair this chainsaw. However, it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. Now, this is a great chainsaw, and the best part is that it wasn't used all that much, so it still has a lot of life left in it. Now, you have to realize that this saw is over 11 years old, and so for its age, it has very little wear on the case and the bar. However, it's still an old chainsaw, so it's going to have some old chainsaw problems. Now, the most likely reason for a chainsaw to leak any gas from the engine is a carburetor issue or a fuel line problem. So the first thing I want to do is loosen these three screws and remove the top cover. So it's pretty obvious what the problem is. The return line from the primer bulb to the fuel tank has broken off. Now we could just replace this single fuel line, but it's best if we replace all the lines at once. Here's what's left of the return line. Unfortunately, to replace the fuel lines, we'll need to take a good portion of the saw apart. Now the first thing I need to do is remove the handle assembly and disconnect the throttle linkage from it. After that, there's a part of the case that we also need to remove to get full access to the carburetor. Next, remove the air filter retainer and the air filter itself, and then the screw and the nuts that hold the filter base and the carburetor to the engine. Now before I remove any of the fuel lines and the carburetor, let's figure out where all the lines go first. The return fuel line on the longer port of the primer bulb goes to the right side and down to the fuel tank. The fuel line on the shorter port of the primer bulb goes straight down to a brass port on the left side of the carburetor. And the last fuel line comes out of the left side of the fuel tank, which is the fuel filter line, and goes to the brass port on the right side of the carburetor, right under the throttle linkages. Now we can disconnect the fuel lines and slide the carburetor off the studs. After it's out of the way, we can then remove all the fuel lines and start installing the new lines, starting with the primer bulb. Now when you reinstall it, it's easier to insert it in the same orientation as the old one. To remove the old one, just squeeze the tabs and push it out of the way. It's a good thing we're replacing it because it just broke. I'm going to replace the fuel line with 3 16 of an inch yellow Tigon line. It's supposed to be more resistant to ethanol gas, but to make it last longer, I would suggest using ethanol free fuel. To help install the line, cut the line at an angle and use some bent pliers. Now, the first line I'm going to run is the return line. Now for the section that's in the tank, I'm going to install a plastic splice, but if you don't have one, it's not that necessary. After pulling the line out, cut the angle piece off and insert the plastic splice and then pull on the line until it stops. Cut the return line to length and it's okay to go ahead and install it on the primer bulb. After that, use the same procedure for the fuel filter line except make sure that the line is long enough that the filter will reach the far side of the fuel tank. After the fuel filter line is ran, we can then cut it to length for the right side of the carburetor. I'll also cut a replacement line for the primer bulb to the carburetor and swap it out. Now before sliding the carburetor back on the studs, make sure this gasket is still on the engine, otherwise the engine may not start or it'll run poorly. Before sliding the carburetor all the way back, 
I'll connect the fuel filter line to the right side port. Then I'll slide it back and then connect the line from the carburetor to the primer bulb. Before I go any further, I want to make sure that the fuel system is working like it should. I'll put some fuel in the tank and then try priming it to make sure it flows from the tank to the carburetor. Then the primer bulb and then right back to the tank through the return line. So it seems to be flowing like it's supposed to, so I'll now install the filter base back onto the engine along with the air filter and its retainer. Now another reason why your chainsaw would be leaking fuel is that the carburetor isn't working like it's supposed to and allowing fuel to leak out of it. The easiest way of course to fix it is just to replace the entire carburetor. Now finally, reposition the handle assembly around the engine, reconnect the throttle linkage to the trigger, and replace the top cover. After that, I want to try starting it and hopefully it doesn't leak. It seems to start easily and runs just fine, but I will cut some wood with it later on just to make sure that the carburetor doesn't need an adjustment. I did have to turn the idle screw out just a little bit to keep the chain from moving. So my question is, would you buy a used Husqvarna chainsaw? Now I think they're a pretty decent saw, but there are other ones out on the market that may be a better value. You know how I feel about it, but I'm more curious about your opinion. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask any questions and I hope to see you in my next video.